Stephanie with Board Game Geek here at Origins 2017 and joining me is Diane Sauer with Shoot Again Games Correct. and you have brought us Pinball Showdown. Yes. So uh, tell us about this game. Okay, uh, in Pinball Showdown all the players are, are pinballs. And it's, Ooh, we get to be the pinball. You get to be okay. the pinball during multiball. And multiball, for anyone that doesn't know, or doesn't know, you know pinball lingo, it's when one or more pinballs on the play field at once. It's like a mode in pinball. Yeah. And that's what this all takes place in. Um, all, the, all the players get 20 tokens, which are two-sided, green and, green and red. Oh, okay. Green is speed. Speed is a requirement to complete something. So you need to be going, like, say so fast to go up a ramp. Right. Okay. While red is control, that helps you steer towards that ramp or towards whatever you you, you, you want you may want to score. Yeah. Okay. The cards are all actual pictures and from pinball machines and their various pinball uh, devices. Oh, yeah. So like for example, you know, flippers and drop targets, you mm -hmm. know, and slingshots and, and that and that that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're all read the same way. Basically at the top is the score that you would get for completing it. Mm -hmm. Then you have the name of it. And then you have a number of dots here of different colors, depending on which card it is, and that's how it's going to affect your pinball. Okay. And then you have a, a number here, which is how fast you need to be going to actually complete it. So say to complete this sling, I need to be going three or greater. So you and need at least three of these? Three of these on the green side. And everybody starts with five on the green side, so everybody can complete this at this point. However, the captive ball is six or greater, and nobody's going six, so they couldn't possibly complete it right, right. now. Okay. Um, the... Uh, Devices are basically broken into four different types. There's green, which increases your speed, and they have the green pluses. So, for example, if I completed this green sl this, this slingshot, it's plus two green. So I would take two of my control, boom, and now I'm going. Awesome. Now, now my speed is increased, and I'm going, going seven. Yeah. Okay. And conversely, not surprisingly, here the red ones slow you down. Yeah. Okay. So if you completed this drop target, it's a minus one speed, so a speed would turn to control. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there are blue cards, which need to, they set your speed to an exact speed. So oh, okay. at the that's why it has the equals. At the end of the round, if you complete this, you're going to be going four. It doesn't matter if you went in it at one or if you went in it at five. You're coming oh, out at four. Yeah. Basically, in pinball machines, there's things where you the ball stops for a second. Yeah. You know, and it gets kicked back out. It doesn't yeah. matter. You know, it's always going to come out at the, yeah. same, the same speed. And last, you have white cards, which have no effect on your speed. They're, they're, they're basically they just score. Okay, so the way the game works is out of the way for us. Mm -hmm. Is whoever mm -hmm. has the the, the pop bumper cap is the first player. Which, by the way, this was this is based off of an actual vintage pop bumper cap. Oh, cool! That's yeah. that's actually the one I used in the prototype. <laughs> that's neat. Um, yeah, so you can see it. Um, so whoever has that is is going to go, going to be the, the the first player. Okay, and they have. Three different things they can do. They can do none of these things. They can do one, two, or three of these things. Okay. Okay. So you have a handy turn. You have a handy car turn thing here, and on the back is a uh, tells you what the car, how to read the cards. Okay. So the first thing that always happens is you flip over a play field card, and that goes out there. That comes off the deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are going to be the play field devices that we could possibly score this turn. Okay. Okay. Then each player now uh, in the beginning of the game, ten cards are dealt out, and that's all you're going to get for the game. Yeah. Um, you. Logically go through and pick one. Now, obviously, I've set this up so we don't have to do that, but right, you'd yeah. obviously logically go through and make an informed decision as to what you want to do. Yeah. And then they'd all get put out here. They get mixed up. Kind of hiding the guilty is what we call that. So <laughs> they don't know where it came from. Yeah. And they go out there. And so now these are the ones we can steer, or possibly steer and score. This okay. Time. So starting with me, I can do do some of these things. And I'm going to do the first thing, which is I'm going to use some of my control to steer towards this pop bumper. So I put one or more on there to steer towards it. Okay, I'm doing that because I want to try to increase my speed because of the top bumpers going to increase my speed. And I'm going to I'm going to pass on the other side. Okay. And why did you put two on there? Because I want to discourage any, anybody else from, from from trying to get it. Okay. I, I want to make it more expensive for them. Because you have a limited amount of these tokens. You only have 20. That's all you ever get. Yeah. Okay. And anything that if you win a device, whatever you spent is out of the game. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to make it so that. Yeah. So then the next person goes and he looks at the devices and he decides, you know what? We all start at five. This one is six. It's got a really good score. So he's going to do the second possible action, which is to increase speed. You can throw a token out of the game, 
to increase your speed by one. Okay, yeah. Okay, yep. mm -hmm. okay um, you could do that as much as you like. However, obviously, you have a limited pool, so you don't want to be doing that willy-nilly, right? Mm -hmm. So now he could also spend some control to actually score this, uh, to, to try to lock this in. But since he's going with six, he's going to figure that no one else is going to go for it. He's going to be good. Okay. So he's not going to do that. Um, so now the third player goes, and the third player says, you know what? I really want that pop bumper. So I'm going to knock her off of that by putting at least one more than her. And that's when pinballs cry. Boom, I got knocked. My pinball was going for it, and bam, it got knocked out of the way. Yeah. And it comes back to me. Now, since I got hit, some of that momentum transfers to me. So I can, for free, when they come back, turn them to speed. Both of them are just or I can, any else. way I want to do it. Both speed, I can keep the control, or I can, I can mix them, whichever way I want to do okay, it. Yeah. In this case, I'm going to keep the speed because I, 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 I like the speed. So. Yeah. Okay? So th that's it. The, the, we, we've now done, we've done another turn. Now you resolve things. First off, anyone that successfully steered towards the device gets it. So this guy steered towards this. These go out of the game for good. Yeah. Okay, they're out of the game. Yep. He would then take his pop bumper, yep. and he would adjust accordingly, turn four of those over to, to, to increase his speed, speed by four, yeah. and he's, Two, he's done. Three, now, four. now um, it goes, everybody always gets a device. You're always going to hit something. It's just a matter of what you hit. So I've got the pop bumper cap. I'm first player, and now it turns out that guy really should have spent some control to lock that in because through circumstance, my speed is now increased to seven, which makes me eligible to complete this. I'm going to take this and, and score it, and minus four for my speed. And now he's going to have to take his, his he's have to go home. He'll take a drop target and go home and cry about <laughs> having messed that up so bad. Have and making him mind those. Yeah. Right. This now goes into the discard pile, and that's the third possible thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. You can't do a turn one because there's nothing in the discard pile. Right. But because there's always going to be one extra, there's always going to be something in the discard pile. And you can spend two control tokens by throwing them out of the game, and you can take that back into your hand to be used on a future turn. Okay, okay yeah. you don't get to score or anything. You right. still have to go through You're the whole process. It back the but it gives you an option, like to say, if you miss something, or suppose I'm collecting, collecting these bash toys, I might want to get it to use it later. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, that's a turn. Now I'm going to do the second turn very accelerated. Okay, so this would pass mm -hmm. to the next, the next player. Yep. Okay, we flip one off the play field deck. Everybody would then you know, pick theirs, yeah. and they get shuffled up, and they yeah. go out there. And then these would all get collected, and people would do whatever they did. Okay, I'm just going to make this quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. And so that's what everybody got. They adjusted. They did all this stuff. Yeah. And now it's the end of that round. Now, yeah. you notice I have a captive ball and a flipper. Well, out here are combination cards. At the beginning oh, of the game, okay. you sh there's 12 combination cards. You shuffle them, and yeah. you put... Uh, the number out equals the number of players. So this is set up for three player mm -hmm. games. So there's three of them. Yeah. Okay. And you. Uh, and you. Oh, oh, but I put out the wrong one. Oh. Well, here. Let's, let's see. Let's Hold see. on. There. It, oh, there it is. Okay. Flipper captain. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I've got the flipper captive ball. So I can beat so this did combo. A, you did a combo. Yeah. So I keep get the combo. It goes in my score pile. I'm going to get a bonus three thousand points. Mm-hmm. And bonuses never double. Well, how do things double, you might ask then. then? Why do I have this two times marker? Yeah. Here's why. We all have one. When yeah. you complete a, a combo, wizard mode goes from off to on. <laughs> now right. we're in wizard mode, and anything we score in the next round is going to go under our 2x, oh, into okay. our 2x score pile. So you'll put that on here, so that, that's right. all 2x. Yeah. So let's say next turn I scored a, a drop target. That would go... That would go on my 2x. That would go under your 2x, yeah. Right, so now... Uh, at the end of the game, it would be worth 2,000 points rather than, than 1,000. Sounds points. good. Okay. Yeah. Um, the common, the wizard mode will stay, will turn off at the end of the turn. Okay. Unless one of two conditions are met. Okay. Um, either if somebody completes another combo, yeah. then it would stay off. Yeah. Or if someone's moving the speed of 12 or greater, they're banging around the machine enough to keep it going on their own. Yeah. And it would stay on. Yeah. If neither of those are met, it would turn off. Until somebody completed another, another combo, combo, and then it would it would it would, turn, it would turn back on, and any of those cards score would go into the two times score pile. Cool. The game lasts for ten turns, or uh, if somebody drains after turn six, draining is basically just having a speed of zero. You, you now st you stop moving, you've drained. So once you've drained, the game is over. After turn one through five, auto save is on. 
and a pinball auto save. If you ever play pinball, if you lose the ball really quickly, it gives it back to you right away. Yeah. Because oh, you only play for two seconds, you know, yeah. so it gives yeah. it right back. And if that happens in turn one through five, you're on auto save and you come back at a speed of a speed of uh, a speed of five. Yeah, which is your normal starting. Point. Right. Yeah. After turn five, turn six forward, if you drained, then that would be the end of the round and you'd score. So either 10 turns or somebody drains after turn six. Mm -hmm. Scoring is you add up everything in your single score pile, yep. everything in your double score pile. Multiply it times two. Um, and then you would, whatever tokens you have left, it doesn't matter which side it's on, you get an extra 100 points for each, each one of those oh, that you have okay. left. Yeah. And whoever had the most points at the end of that would win. Awesome. Cool. So, is this, is this included in the game? No, no. <laughs> this is just for show. That's just that's just for show. I I, I restore the new spinball machine, oh, so that's, okay. that's, awesome. that's 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 what. Yeah, I love when people bring um, themes from their life and then create a board yeah. game from that. I think that's really cool. Shows that you're passionate about it. Oh yeah. And then of course you're going to be an expert on all things pinball. <laughs> right. I, I did. I just did a developer's blog, uh, blog, blog on this. Uh, it uh, it took me years and years and years to, to get. To really get this to where I wanted it to be, you know, like I wanted it to really feel like pinball. Yeah. Because yeah. it's important, you know, but it's something I do for my living, so yeah. you know, you want it to really be right. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. Cool. Well, I think that I feel like a pinball. <laughs> <in> this game. <laughs> so, um, when can we get this game? Is it this is. Available? It is available right now. Um, if you're here at the convention, um, it, it's booth 158, um, or it will. You can go to shootagaingames.com, or it's going to be a retail probably sometime within the next month that you can start. Okay. Yeah. So probably July, August or so, it'll yeah, be available. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and that is Pinball Showdown by Shootagain Games.